John, yeah, if you think you can close the deal, go for it, man. Yeah, make it happen. I'll, I'll be downtown in about uh, 30 minutes or so. Okay, we'll see you then. Honey, I'm just uh, heading into the office to sign some papers. I, I forgot to plug in the EV in the garage last night, so stopping in at the first fast charger on my way home. Do you want me to pop by into the shops and pick anything up? No thanks, dear. Okay, thanks a lot, hon. I'll see you after work. Bye, love. Huh. Come join me in my office. You love trucks, all trucks. You haul and tow, snow wheel and off-road, take the kiddies to softball practice, and your sweetie to lover's lookout. Ooh. This channel is all about how the truck is changing, but not the lifestyle. We're loaded up, kitted out, and ready to roam. That's a fact. But are we ready for the future? Welcome to Trucked Up EVs. We live on 16 acres, a thousand feet up the side of a mountain, above an alpine lake with no cell service and no internet. We're about 10 miles from the nearest village of about 200 people, 20 miles from a gas pump and the village grocer. It certainly isn't a place you want to get stranded. We're going to get some chores done. The snow's melted back. We're going to put the EV truck to work. Well, that's never good because that came from there. So we had snow and it came off the roof and ripped the soffit rail off. And it also means we might have a bit of issue with where that's located. Because that is our level two portable charging unit running off our NEMA 1450 plug. Welcome to the country. All right, well, this was down on the ground, basically. Knocked off, took out my forsythia as well. But that should just about do it, getting it off the ground about three feet. We just swapped the vehicles. We basically wake up in the morning, one's full. Whoever's using the vehicle the following day charges up first. Usually it's top up, it's like an hour. And then we just swap the vehicles around, wake up in the morning with full charges in both. And here's chore number one for our lightning truck today. Is it trailer? The fun started right here. Driving down the highway, bearing seized. Oh, and ripped the wheel off and started a fire. <coughs> With, of course, a full load, which is now frozen solid. And I need to get it out of here, into the truck, and brought off to the dump. crazy thing is, I stopped thinking about this being an electric truck and just being a truck. I, I just don't think about it anymore. I'm going to do my work, get my chores done, go to work, work for my clients, drive home, plug it in, sack out and shut up. That's about it. We are on the road. It's quite nice. We're in these tiny little villages in the middle of nowhere, but we do have pretty good services, actually. It's kind of surprising. One of them is having the transfer station. It's not actually a dump. They transfer everything out, but debris, garden waste, when I do pruning throughout the winter and into the spring, that can all just be dropped off there rather than doing a burn pile. I'm not a big fan of burn piles anyway, but if I was doing the burn piles for my clients, I've got so many clients that basically all I'd be doing full-time is uh, burn piles. So we're going to go drop this off and then... We're going to go take care of a customer of mine, and we're going to take care of her shrubberies. Shrubberies? We are the knights that say, Nick. Nee. No, we're not. We're the knights that say, <laughs> Bring us gargantuan shrubberies. You know what the hell I'm doing right now? Click in the comment below. What's that from? I know you know.
I know you know, because you're as old and curmudgeon as I am. Oh, yes, you are. You're a truck owner. Truck men. Real men. Watch stupid British comedy. Oh, yes, we do. Secretly. We don't expose it. We don't let a lot of people know what I'm coming out. That I, too, uh, am a fan. Yes. Off we go. And here we are. Not a bad location for a dump. So this is cool. So what these folks are doing right here is they brought in this industrial chipper and they have been chipping all of the garden waste. Look at that. So instead of burning everything, they compost it. And this is the entire community's garden waste and debris and all piled up and chipped, ready to be hauled out of here. All right, let's get this done. <laughs> Well, that's all done. Next stop, we gotta go back through where we came from and go to the next village over. About 25 miles, 40 kilometers. We'll take care of some shrubberies. Now we're getting a bit of snow. We're all packed up, ready to go. Got the back loaded up. Got to do a couple more jobs, and then we're going to do one more dump run before the end of the day. Holy knocking knickers. It just got cold out there. Snow and sleet, nice rain and stuff just started falling. But we got uh, two clients done. We're going to go do a third, and then we're off back to the transfer station. Whee! Okay, so it's a gaggle of geese. It's a parliament of owls. What is it if you're counting shrubbery? Let me know in the comment below. Backing up here, we've got the third job done. We've been into the dump and we are just heading back. The conditions outside have worsened a bit. We got some crap, ice, rain, slippy, slicky stuff all over the roads and some side blowing snow. Fun. So just, you know, Thursday. It's really turned to crap out here and I didn't quite make it home yet because it's one of the most important things in the day to do. Sometimes you just got to address issues that pull you away from your work. And this is one of them. Woo! <coughs> that is right. You think that stuff would be frozen by now? Came home to the wife smelling like that, she'd say, baby, I want a divorce. And here we are back in my little village. And if you were to look straight up, there's a massive mountain, which I live on, which we're going to drive up to. And to get an idea of this little village, there is a museum, a transport company, a dentist, a little cafe, and a hardware store. The end. And if you think I was joking... Well, that's it. Another day done, getting a little bit of snow. Basically, I wake up in the morning, the truck's warm, the seats are heated, steering wheel's heated, it's all charged up, full for the morning for the next day. So we finished with about uh, 220, 230 kilometers left. Again, never really thinking about it much. I can get through a day, I'm not driving great distances, but a full work day back and forth with my clients, with transfer stations, with whatever I gotta do in my day, it works. Now to see some of the challenges you might face owning an EV truck, the pluses and minuses, check out this video right here. We'll see you next time.